How you doing? This is Ashley Bodie taking over their Dockery show, giving you a trip, another trip around the locker room. Here we go. Here we are. We got number 93, Anthony Hargrove. Are you looking forward to this game? Man, you know what? Of course, man. I'm about to get this thing bumping and jumping Monday night. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have the stadium rocking. You know, I don't want to put any words in your mouth, but uh, you can say it yourself. You want to tell them what you're going to do to Dallas? I'm, I'm going to tear them up. You know, from from the, from the start to the end. You know, if, I'm, if we start kicking off, I'm coming down full speed. I mean, you got 285 pounds running down the field. If anybody get my way, I plan on tearing a new one. Former LSU tight end Rob Rule, number 84 for the Buffalo Bills. What any restaurants in Buffalo you like to promote? Um, you know, I'm about to come out with a restaurant. Yeah. What you calling it? Gotcha. As soon as you eat the food, I'm gonna say gotcha. This name of it will be gotcha. Looking for me soon, Rob Rule, gotcha restaurant. We have a. Uh, Mr. Mormon here, number eight on the field, number one in your heart. What do you think about this week coming up in uh, Monday night? Well, I think it's pretty cool. It's the first Monday night game I've played in since I've been here, and I think it's the first one since, I believe, 94 here in the stadium. So I think everybody's excited, not just the team, but the, the whole community. Quick quick question for you. you got to answer soon I ask the question. How old are you in 1994? Uh, 18. Last week's AFC Player of the Week, Jabari Greer. You, you've had moments to speak with him. Monday night's a big night for us. Um, we got Cowboys coming to town. Um, what do you think about that game? I think it's a big opportunity. Uh, Monday night football's always been uh, a dream of every football player to play under the lights and in front of a nationally televised audience. So it's time to step up and really and really make some happen. It's an exciting time. It's a time for where you, where you put the hard work and you see the fruits of your labor. So. Come Monday, uh, it's going to be some fun. Mario Hagan, nice to have you here. Hey, thanks thanks for having me here. Always glad to be in front of the camera. Just, oh, he, he's a cameraman, you know. I'm not much of a cameraman. I just do this. I think they thought I was cute, so they tried to put me in front of the camera. But I prefer handsome. But anyway, Mario, I uh, just got a few questions for you. If uh, Buffalo had an NBA team, what would they be called? Nothing can match along with the Sabres and the Bills. I say the Braves. Buffalo Monsters. Buffalo what? Monsters. Half man, half monsters. Tough question. The Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Blizzards, huh? I like that. That sounds like ice cream. <laughs> hey, we, we, we wouldn't have a name. They'd just be called the Buffaloes. If uh, Buffalo had an NBA team, yeah, what would they be called? Buffalo three-point shooters. Just straight three points. Yeah, that's all you need this, this year in uh, NBA basketball. You just need three-point shooters. We don't want no big men. We want all. All point guards and shooting guards. You don't need no alley oops, just straight. Threes. Nothing. No half, half court shots. None of that. We want half court shots. We want layups and three pointers. That's it. Okay. Buffalo three point shooters. So is your team is your team going to try to get four pointers going? No, no. You actually, what I'm trying to implement in the NBA system, I want to have a five point shot. That's a shot where you where you take the ball, you throw it off the roof, and you go in the basket. That count as five points. And whenever I can get that into the basketball NBA games, it'll be great. Trivia question. You got to know about your Buffalo Bills. Uh -oh. What team was Coach Marv Levy the head coach of before the Bills? Uh, can I get a hint? AFC NFC. Red team. Red team. AFC, red team. Man, y'all got me after practice. Um, Atlanta? Why you put me on the spot like this? Bills trivia question. Why you ask me what team you two played for before you came to the Buffalo Bills? Give me an answer. Give me a cheat sheet. Give me something. Besides a red team. AFC team, which is red. Oh, the Chiefs. There you go. The oh. first guy to get. You know. Hey, Javari hey. Greer. 33 on the field, number one in your heart. Yeah. Monday night, big game for us. Dallas Cowboys coming in town, you know. Uh, what is that replacing for you? What are you normally doing your Monday nights? On Monday nights, what I normally do is I normally go home for a little bit. And what I normally do, I try to clean up a little bit. I, I, yeah, I try to clean up. And then after I clean up, what I normally do is I put my game ready machine on my knees, and then I sit back and I play little video games. I play Gears of War, which this should give me some money for saying that. And it's on Xbox 360, so Microsoft, Microsoft looked for me. Uh, I play Gears of War. Then after that, what I normally do is I try to go by the fellow and fellowship a little bit, play a little cards, or uh, watch a Monday Night Football game. You want to let these guys know what a game ready is? A game ready? I need some money for that too, game ready. A uh, game ready is actually a machine where you put ice into it to a certain level, you fill it up with water, and what it does is it circulates the, the cold water and it puts compression on uh, the particular uh, body part that you have it on. And, you know, before we go, we got to get another 30 seconds with Jabari Gray. So get your kids in front of the TV and get them to watch this, you know. Get ready. Okay. Um, 30 seconds. 
uh, men, be truthful to these ladies, you know, because I, I've, um, I'm living my life, man, I've realized that, uh, you know, as much as a cliche as it sounds, honesty is the best policy, and um, you sometimes get lost in lies, you know, so be truthful, man, and you, you, you'll find out that the truth really will work for you. You'll be surprised what people will accept. So uh, that's it. I mean, I showed you a little bit of locker room, showed you a little bit of weight room. All I ask is you come on Monday night and uh, let's get the Cowboys back home. Okay, I think I've taken over Derek's show long enough. Uh, he'll be back after these messages.